Okay, for this problem here, we know we have this particular function and the point 57. And we are going to try to find, this is the point t a f at a. We're going to find two tangent lines that go to f through p. So here would be like one of the tangent lines roughly here. And there's probably going to be another one somewhere over here somewhere that would do the same, but it's off the screen, it's going to be up there somewhere. But that's the idea we're looking for. So in order to do that, if I'm looking for the slope of a tangent line, well, I need the slope of this line here. So I know slope is always y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Well, here is y1 and here is y2. So it's f at a minus 7 over a minus 5. Well, f at a, if I plug it into my function, is going to be a squared minus 2a plus 1 minus 7 over a minus 5, which is going to be a squared minus 2a minus 6 over a minus 5. That's the slope between p and t. b part says find f prime at a. Well, f prime, f prime x is simply 2x minus 2. So then f prime at a is 2a minus 2. Hence, find the two slopes, the tangent lines. Well, this is the slope of the derivative. This is the slope of the derivative. So they must be equal to each other. So then I can say that, I'm changing colors here. Let's, I can say that a squared minus 2a minus 6 over a minus 5 is equal to 2a minus 2. Solving for a, I'm going to cross multiply. I get a squared minus 2a minus 6 is equal to 2a minus 2, a minus 5, just 2a squared uh, minus 10 minus 12a plus 10, a squared minus 2a minus 6. Bring everything over so I get a squared minus 10a uh, plus 6 plus 6 is plus 16 equal to 0. So I can say that a minus 8 and a minus 2. And so a equals 8 and a equals 2. Find the two slopes. Well, I have my derivative. Take my a values, plug it in. So f prime at 8 is 2 times 8 minus 2, which is 14. f prime at 2 which is 2 times 2 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. So here are your two slopes. So recapping, I use the idea of slope with these two points, general point and the point I'm looking for, and I get an equation in terms of a. Find the derivative in terms of a. They must be equal because they both represent the slope. Set them equal, solve for a, and you're able to calculate the actual slopes.